Morning. The air is clean. Complete silence. From afar, I can hear a group of the beautiful Hammer girls laughing. It's the day of the bull jump ceremony, one of the most fascinating rituals in East Africa. It is a rite of passage, and it marks the day in which a boy becomes a man, fit for marriage. But to reach this status, the boy had to come a long way. At the beginning of the process, the youth must be accompanied by an older man of the tribe and walk around with a strange Afro haircut that is reserved for the young. Along with his escort, the young boy passes through the villages in the area and notifies the people that the ceremony will take place in a few days. The young man and his companion give the villagers a green stem with a number of knots on it, indicating the number of days until the ceremony. This is the invitation letter, so to speak. Every day, the villagers cut out one knot so that they know how many days are left before the occasion. Other tribes are also invited to the ceremony from around the area. The Karo tribe has about a thousand members who live in small picturesque huts on the banks of the river Omo. Sometimes it seems like there is a secret competition between the tribes on the quality of the color mixtures with which they paint their bodies. The young boy's faces are painted white to symbolize the death of the old and the birth of the new, the end of childhood and the rebirth into the company of adults. Meanwhile, the women arrange their hair, preparing for the ceremony. The day has finally come, and the young unmarried women of the boy's family go out singing and dancing traditional Hammer songs and dances, and simple metal trumpets produce merry noises. The young girls await the area's young men, who have already passed the bull jumping test, but have not yet wed. When they pour in from the surrounding villages, the girls run towards them and tease them. They approach them up close and demand that the men whip them with a special branch. Indeed, the men hit them, sometimes causing severe cuts that can scar the girls' backs for life. Every woman goes through this with every new arriving man. By doing this, the girls express their devotion to their families and to the young man who is about to go through the test. They demonstrate that he is worth suffering for and is a man that is deeply respected and who will surely bring honor to the woman who will marry him. But this act also reflects upon themselves. They are also tested. They showcase their loyalty, their strength, and their physical and mental stamina.
During the graduation ceremony, an alcoholic beverage made from sorghum is served by the Bulljumper's family. Guests are mainly young men who have already passed the ride themselves. The boy's task is to jump naked and run across a row of about 10 bulls, who are held from both sides by the tribe's men. He must do this several times without falling. If he falls, he must start all over again. It's not an easy task. He must prove that he is athletic, agile and fearless.
Once he passes the test and the dust clouds created by the alarmed bulls settles, the evening celebrations can begin. The tribe's people will go out chanting and dancing, and it is here that future marriages and engagements blossom. Mm -hmm.